Collins hit his last eight passes. Looking for Diggs in the end zone. That's a touchdown for Buffalo. He beat the rookie, Joshua Williams, who starts today with Rashad Fenton out. And Allen was able to exploit that for a 17-yard score. Mahomes, Allen. It was the matchup we've been waiting for, even though Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs fell to the Buffalo Bills. We're going to talk about what happened in that game right now. 65 toss power trap. That might pop wide open, Rats. Well, the Kansas City Chiefs lose to the Buffalo Bills 24-20. to Hard-fought game, back and forth a little bit there. It was tied up most of the game, but the Chiefs could not take advantage of some of the defensive stops the defense had. An overall game where I thought the Chiefs should have won, I felt like the Chiefs are just as good as the Buffalo Bills. There's a lot of doubt coming into this game, especially from Chiefs fans, where the Bills were just going to steamroll us and their number one offense and their defense and all that. And yeah, the Chiefs had some guys that were out, and we're going to get into all that here in a minute. But I thought the Chiefs, they'll, they'll be all right. That's the that's the number one thing I want to say before we get into all this is the Chiefs are going to be okay. They will be okay. Um... They were out some guys. They were out some guys. That's no excuse. They still could have won this game. They still should have won this game. But they'll be okay. They'll be okay. A lot of Chiefs fans may be sitting here on this Monday, but you'll hear this on a Tuesday, Tuesday or Monday, that there's doubt that, oh, we may not, you know, we may not be doing this or that or, oh, Spags this or defense that or, oh, Mahomes, no one else can get open. The first thing I want to say getting on here is we're going to be okay. Settle in. We're going to be okay. And the reason why I think we're going to be okay is a lot of people may criticize the defense. And that's the easy way out is just criticizing the defense. And I do have some concerns on defense and I do want to get to that. But I think the defense is okay. Like, I really thought they were okay. I mean, you had to put some rookies out there. You had to put Joshua Williams out there. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, our defense is playing like the 85 Bears. No, it's, it's not. It's not playing like the 85 Bears. But it, they're, they're playing fine. The defense is playing fine. I'm not going to sit here and act like they're just atrocious or our defense sucks. Like, the way I feel now compared to the way I feel when we played the Bills last year are completely two different things. The Bills are a very good team. Very good team. And skills-wise, the Chiefs are still right there. The concern I have is with Andy Reid and the coaching and just situational things that we have to get better on. I, I, I think we still have to run the ball. Yes, our running backs at times can be bad. And I, I do like our running backs, but they can be bad. And I think they do need to give Rojo a chance. And I'm sorry if this is going to be a little bit of me ranting and not really breaking down the game how I want to. We may have more of that later in the week as we preview the 49ers on Friday. But right now, I just have to talk about the game and just get everything out. The Chiefs could have easily won that game. They could have. They got the ball back. When they were up three, they got the necessary stops. That's why I want to credit the defense. They got the necessary stops, and we still, we still could just not put it away. When they got the ball back with 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 uh with seven minutes left, and they were up by three, or I think it may have been five minutes left. You get that, you go score. You're in a good position of winning that game. You're up by ten points, and they could not capitalize on it. And I'm going to talk more in depth on why the Chiefs are not capitalizing on some of these offensive plays. So the number one thing I think why the Chiefs aren't taking advantage of some of these plays is stubbornness and just pure stupidity sometimes. And I love Andy Reid. I'm not going to be one of these idiots that I see on Twitter talking about fire Andy Reid. I'm not. That's just dumb. I'm, I'm really not. I'm just not going to do that. But the, the it just... I don't understand 
some of the things. Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, I'll have to look at it again, but I don't think the Buffalo Bills were doubling him. And if so, then you go to Travis Kelsey. Yeah, there's other guys that have to step up. MVS had a good week last week. And where was he this week? Three targets, zero yards. Yeah, they try to get Sky Moore in involved. But other guys have to step up beside Travis Kelsey. And Juju Smith-Schuster did. But where was it where we just stopped targeting Juju Smith? All of a sudden, it just stopped. Or we stopped targeting him. Juju it played phenomenal. I, I really think Juju is going to have gonna keep developing like this. I could be wrong. It could just be a one-game thing. We could see another guy next week pop off. It could be Sky Moore. It could be MVS again. Because they, they moved the ball around. But I, I just felt like we had a game plan. Or we have a game plan. And then we get into it. And then Andy Reid gets out of it. Because he's, he's worried about what are we going to do in the red zone? What are we? No. Run the damn ball. Run the ball. Pacheco, use him. He's running people over. Use him. Clyde Edwards, use him. Stop trying to put him out on the edge, going out on the edge. He's great in between the tackles. He's not going to get a lot of yards when you're trying to run him out on the edge. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Situationally, the Chiefs staff needs to be better because they could have won that game. They could have won that game. And again, the Bills are a great team. But am I sitting here saying, wow, this Bills team and shaking in my boots? No. I, and I'm going to give them a lot of credit. I'm going to give their defense a lot of credit. Von Miller is that dude. He's that dude. I mean, he grew up a Chiefs fan. He grew up a, a Derek Thomas fan. He w went into the stadium with a Derek Thomas shirt. He looked like Derek Thomas out there, beating Andrew Wiley. The offensive line, I, I think they need to move Tooney to left tackle. Orlando Brown just got to step it up. There's no, there's no, there's not a lot of things to say there. Not a lot of things to say there. He Orlando Brown just needs to step it up. And Patrick Mahomes, there again. Patrick Mahomes is back down to earth. He played like an NFL quarterback, but that last interception, you 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 can't throw that, Mahomes. You can't throw that. The one in the end zone, it happens. We don't want him to stop doing those type of plays because that's who Mahomes is. Is he has those crazy plays where he throws it up and the guy comes down with it? This time it was just an interception. Nine times out of ten, that's a touchdown. MBS, you got to go get that ball. You got to go get that ball. But, but another thing I want to get into is I've seen this week after week after week, and I saw this in the Colts game. Why the hell does Andy Reid not call a timeout when the team is marching down and there's two minutes, a minute 50, whatever it may be, so you can save more time, and maybe Patrick Holmes doesn't throw that pick. Maybe Patrick Holmes doesn't feel rushed. Maybe he feel like he can go out there. Yeah, there's a lot of things you say, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Maybe uh, Harrison Bucker makes that kick. A lot of things like that. But you, I don't know why he, he does not do that. Call a timeout. Save some time for Patrick Mahomes to go down the field and score if your defense can't get it done. And, and I do have to criticize the defense, too. Our defensive line has to start winning. The Bills' offensive line is not amazing. This isn't the 90s Cowboys' offensive line we're, we're, we were going up against. The Chiefs have to start winning on the defensive line. Maybe they make a trade. Maybe they go get Brian Burns. I don't know. But they have to start winning on the defensive line. They have to. They did not win enough. Yeah, Chris Jones had a sack, but it was more of a tripping. I'm going to be honest. The refs were bad. There was offensive pass interference call on Travis. That was bad. Gabriel Davis did the same thing earlier, and they, that wasn't called. But I'm not going to sit here and blame the refs. That's not what I do. We, we didn't lose that game because of the refs. The Chiefs have to get better situationally. And if you don't, you, that, you, that's going to cost you versus good teams. The Bills were a good team. Last week, you got bailed out because it was the Raiders. The Raiders will find a way to screw it up. The Bills won't. I said it all game. I was saying it to my dad and my buddies. 
You keep giving a good QB like Josh Allen ball, the ball back, he's going to make you pay. Same as Patrick Mahomes. The defense gave them opportunities to put the game away, and the offense could not capitalize. They have to get better situationally. And right now, they're just not. Are the Chiefs okay? They're okay. They will be fine. They, the, these are the two. They played the, the second best team in the NFL. The, or, excuse me. These are the two best teams in the NFL. And after that, there's not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot. Before I wrap this up, I do want to get to some silver linings. Juju looked good. Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey. I thought the Darius Harris looked great. Linebacking crew is going to look good. And, and when Willie Gay comes back next week, if he does, the, the linebacking crew is in great shape. You still have to keep Darius Harris in there rotationally. I like the linebacking crew. D-line has to get better. Has to start winning. I know I just said that. But silver linings, Juju is starting to come along. And I like that. They're starting to get Sky Moore more involved. So there are some silver linings, guys. This isn't over for the Chiefs. They can still grab the one seed. Remember, the Bills beat them last year in the regular season, and they fell off. They got some tough games coming up, as do the Chiefs. It is on to San Francisco. Got to start focusing on San Francisco. But the little errors versus good teams like this, you cannot afford to have. You can't afford to have. So the Chiefs need to correct some things, get back into the film room, Break it down, and I think they'll be okay. The Chiefs will be okay, guys. Relax. A lot of you Chiefs fans are in my DMs worried that we're not going to win a playoff game. We'll be okay. We'll be just fine. It's a long season, guys. We're not going to, you're not going to go undefeated. The Chiefs will be okay. All right, you guys know the drill I have to give out some game balls. This week, it's going to be a little bit different since no rookie really arose to the occasion. My third game ball, instead of having a rookie, I'm going to give it to Harrison Bucker. He made a 63-yard field goal. The record was held last week by Mike Wright. Now, Matt, excuse me, Matthew Wright. Now Harrison Bucker took it with a 63-yarder. Yes, he missed that 49-yarder, but a 63-yarder. Absolute bomb. His first game back. So Harrison Bucker, you get my first game ball. Because I give it to a rookie, but congrats, Mr. Butker. You get the game ball. And for the defensive side of the ball, it's going to be, I'm going to give it to Darius Harris. I thought he played very, very well. Was there when needed to be. He'll be a good rotational piece when Willie Gay comes back. But definitely giving it to Darius Harris on the defensive side of the ball. And on the offensive side of the ball, it's pretty simple. It's going to go to Mr. Smith Schuster. He had um, 113 yards, if I'm not mistaken, and a touchdown. Thought he played really well. I think he had five receptions. Uh, he was five for five on the day on receptions. So that'll go to Mr. Juju Smith Schuster. But guys, keep your head up, Chiefs Nation. There's a long season to go. We will be back, and you will see a lot more videos coming this week. We'll be back on Friday. But before I go, make sure you guys subscribe, share, like all of my videos, and get the word out about the TPT podcast. We're growing every day. And again, once we hit 50 followers, or excuse me, 50 subscribers, we're going to give away that jersey right behind me. Make sure you guys also go follow us on TikTok, on Instagram for the latest news. I will see you guys on Friday. We are filming episodes now on Tuesday, and we will have videos out on Friday. So make sure you guys go check it out. I will see you guys next week, and go Chiefs. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell to see your videos each week.